class, uh, where we stand, everyone? Tolerance. To reconciliation account uh, done, right? Yes, no? Are you there? Yes, sir. So now we want to create master data, then yes. post the document entries. Right, can you please note it down this? Note it down. Accounts receivable postings. Accounts receivable postings. Note it down. Bye. 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 Done, everyone. Noted. Accounts receivable postings. Once you completed, please respond. Guys, done? Done, sir. Yes, sir. Done? Yeah, good. Done. So example, first we want to create a BP customer master data that we need to post the document entries. Example, I want to post, let us assume, I want to post invoice. So let's take any customer the customer is called uh, Lokesh, Lokesh Private Limited, Account Data to Income, any income you can take, any income you can take, even sales also one of the income. I'm taking commission received, I'm taking commission received, Ex amount is called 2 lakhs and 2 lakhs. Amount is called 2 lakhs and 2 lakhs and 2 lakhs. So this is called invoice posting. This is called invoice, invoice posting. The next Payment posting, customer payment posting. Example, cash or bank account data to Lokesh Private Limited. Let us assume 1,50,000 and 1,50,000. 1,50,000 and 
the later the next customer credit memo customer credit memo okay so what is the accounting entry <coughs> commission received yes, account data to Lokesh Private Limited LT. So fifty thousand and fifty thousand. Fifty thousand and fifty. Please note it on this, everyone. Please note it on this. Then noted. Yes, sir. Yeah. So everyone, first I want to create the customer. First I want to create the customer. So where we will create the customer? T code is called. Where we will create the customer? Example, BP, business partner. BP, business partner. How you created the vendor? How you created the vendor? Same to same way, even you want to create the customer. Example, Lokesh Private Limited comes under domestic customer. So how to create this customer? Very simple, everyone. Very simple, my dear students. How you created the vendor? Same to same process. P code is called BP, business partner. Okay, let's open SAP. Let's open SAP. I'm opening SAP. Enter. Then uh, password. Then enter username and password. Yeah. So go to business partner BP. Press enter button in the keyboard. So now again click on your organization. So here customer create BP role. Everyone during the vendor creation BP role we selected supplier financial accounting so during the customer creation we want to select anyone what we want to select customer, customer, customer. Financial account. very good customer financial accounting you can take customer financial accounting then click on here create then here comes under domestic bmbp group for the domestic now here you can write the name, Lokesh, Private Limited, then search term, set up here any four digit, LOPL, and here address, example SR Nagar, house number 8080-500-64, Country India, region optional, then year 64 and 64, then come down here, select the language, English. Select the language, English. So after this, what can I do everyone? After this, what can I do? Click on company code. Very good, appreciate. Click on your company code. <laughs> First, you can check the company code. If it is your company code, then keep it as this. In case if it is not your company code, 
tell it your com company code existing one yes then now you can enter your company code what is our company code bm10 and press enter button in the keyboard enter now here you can select the reconciliation account domestic customer here Two three double zero double zero domestic customer. Then short key zero three one customer number. Short key zero three one customer number. Go to payment transaction. Then click on your terms of payment triple zero one immediate payment. Then press enter. Click on your save. Same to same, same to same. The changes is just this business rule. Business rule will going to change. The business rule during the vendor creation, you want to select supplier. During the customer creation, you want to select customer. Okay, that is the change. Except that remaining same to same. Okay. Everyone. Now, one more thing is, Commission received. Commission received, we already created everyone. Commission received, we already created. Okay. Let's see once where we created. Go to FS00. We already created commission received. And uh, press enter. Commission received. Let's take any income, everyone. Take any income. Click on your display. See? Commission, so receive a bull, this one. Received, mm, this one. Enter, commission received. So commission received, it is an income, primary cost and revenue. Then click on your control data. Here cost element category 11, it's a revenue. And uh, create bank interest app, G029, press enter and save. Like this, we created a commission received, master data creation. We already created, but your understanding purpose, once again, I'm showing. So now, I want to post this accounting entry. I want to post this accounting entry. So where we will post the accounting entries? Customer invoice posting single screen, customer invoice posting double screen. FB70 and f-22 so what is the difference between for example this is the customer everyone this is the customer and vendor single screen and double screen vendor invoice posting single screen and vendor invoice posting double screen what is that fb60 fb60 fb43 sir fb60 and f-45 44 43, sir. 43. Very good. And the next one? GL. One second. Next, GL, single screen and double screen. What is the T code? FB50. F-02. F-0. Like this. Okay. This is the single screen and double screens. Like based on your understanding, I'm entering. Okay. Good. Let's post the customer invoice. T code is called FB70. Either you can go to through path or either you can go to through T code also. Through T code also. Based on your convenience. I'm going through path. Everyone, you people already practiced vendor invoice posting, some people. Let's try the path, customer invoice posting. Anyone tell me the path? Try. Accounting. SAP menu. Accounting. Accounting. Financial account. Financial accounting. Financial accounting. Yeah, account, uh, payables are receivable, sir. Receivable. Uh, account receivable. Receive one second. We already completed general ledger. We already completed accounts payable. Now we are going. Accounts receivable. receivable. And document, then, entry. Document, document entry. Document entry. FB70. Very good. Appreciate. Who is he? Praveen, sir. 
Praveen. Appreciate Praveen. Praveen always greeted. So everyone, so you just double click on FB70. First, you can check the company code here. How you posted vendor invoice? Same to same phenomena, same process. There we will se select expenses. Here we will select income. There we will select the vendor. Here we will select the customer. Same to same, but vice versa. There we will select the vendor. Here we will select the customer. There we will select the expenses. Here we will select the income. That's it. Remaining process is same, same to same. How you posted vendor invoice, same to same. Okay. And check the company code. And it is not your company code. We'll give it here your company code. Then click on your OK. Let's take the customer. Lokesh Private Limited. Then as usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Then being customer invoice. Here, income. Let's take commission received. Then two lines. Tap, 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 tap. And during the income posting, here you can give the cost center. Press enter. Enter again. Then copy this amount. Control C and paste it here. Enter again. Enter. Enter again. And go to simulate. Enter again. See now. 50 means credit. 0, 1 means debit. Customer account data to income. Is this correct accounting entry? Customer account data to income. Okay. Any income, even sales also one of the income. Click on your post. Press enter. Warning message will come. You can ignore it. Entry view, general ledger view, whatever view you want. The next one. So you can practice double screen, everyone. Okay. And practice double screen. The next one, vendor payment. Sorry, customer payment. So how you practiced vendor payment? Same to same. Customer payment also. Wherever there we will select the vendor and here we will select the customer. Let's do the vendor payment, sorry, customer payment. So what is the T code? T code is called F-28. F-28. Okay. And uh, go to F-28. Go to F-28. Press enter. So let's see the document, same to same. How it look like F-53, same screen like that. So as usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want, document type, company code, then currency, the reference, we are doing the testing, and the customer payment, customer payment, here, bank data account means here you can take cash or bank related GLs. I'm taking the cash GL double two double zero double zero. The amount is called one lakh fifty thousand. Tap 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 tap. Here you can take the customer. Click on your process open item. Somebody changed my number range. Note it on this error, everyone. Up to message number.
Done. Noted, everyone. Done. Anyone see Salar movie? How is it? No. All are good boys, sir. Yes. I'm bad boy, sir. Bad boy. <laughs> bad boy. Yeah. How is the movie? Uh, good, good, sir. Good, huh? Good, yes. Yeah. Good, good. See, um, uh, Prabhas, even uh, Mahesh. So we have a very good uh, actors in Tollywood. Actually, we feel proud. So now he's uh, Prabhas is giving the competition of entire uh, Indian heroes. We feel proud. Actually, Prabhas is a Telugu man. Yeah. yeah. Prabhas fans is here? Mm -hmm. No one? Yes, sir. I'm... Yes, sir. Yeah, let's create the number in Jeff's. Note it down solution. T code is called FBN1. Note it down the solution. FBN1. Go to FBN1. Note it down. Go to FBN1. Enter the company code BM10, your company code. You just want to give your company code. Then click on your change interval. Then here you can click on your add and uh, create the number range. 14, 20, 23. Note it on this. It's okay. Then everyone. Yes, yeah. Come Click on here, save. Yeah. Now you can post everyone. Go to your desk 28, enter. It's browsing. And uh, same thing, give it your document date, document type, company code. Then here reference, we are doing testing. And uh, here you can take the bank, cash or bank GL amount. Tap, tap, tap. Here you can take the customer. Then click on your process open item. See here, my invoice value is 2 lakhs. Now you're doing 1 lakh 50,000. Difference is 50,000. Means this is not a full and final payment. It is an, a partial payment. So how much payment amount? You just double click on this field. Double click on this field. 1,50,000 we are paying. Invoice value 2 lakhs. Our payment is 1,50,000. Go to document. Click on your simulate. This is on. 40 means debit. 15 means credit. 40 means debit, 15 means credit. And post. Go to document and display. Sentry so view, general ledger view, whatever view you want, you can see. Everyone, let's see everyone. I will tell you one thing. Example, my invoice value, 2 lakhs. My payment value one lakh fifty thousand. 
one lakh fifty thousand. If I see the report, how much outstanding now? Fifty thousand, sir. Fifty thousand. The so T code is called FBL five N. Very good. FBL five N. Customer line item. So. Click on your all items and execute. See here, DR, customer invoice, DZ, customer payment. Customer invoice, 2 lakhs. Customer payment, 1,50,000. And pending is 50,000. In case if you want to see the document entry, either you can go to FB03, otherwise simply double click on this line items. Click on your call up overview. This is the accounting entry. And double click on second line item, call up overview. This is the one. Okay. So example everyone, in case if you give remaining payment, 50,000 payment, if you give, again, if you go to F-28, F-28 and you can give the 50,000 payment. In case if you are not give 50,000 payment, we want to do, I mean, round off or whatever. We want to close our outstanding. We don't want to give the 50,000 in future. Then we need to run credit memo. Okay. So how to, where, what is the T code for do the payment of credit memo? FB75. This is the single screen and this is the double screen. Okay. FB75. FB75. Press enter. First check the company code. Customer credit memo company code BM10. And let's see the customer. And uh, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Being customer credit memo. Bye, bye. Bye. Customer credit memo. Then here you can take the income. Amount is called 50,000. Tap, tap, tap. Here you can give the cost center. Then press enter button in the keyboard. Enter again. The warning message will come. You can ignore it. Enter. Enter again. Go to click on your simulate. Enter again. Then post. Go to document and display. 40 means debit. 11 means credit. Let's see the report everyone. Again, go to your BL 5N. Then click on your execute. The outstanding is zero. DR means customer invoice. DG means customer credit memo. DZ means customer payment. Okay, this is the report sent out. Once again, please be online. 